welcome to Maidstone. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Happy what, what, what do you think of Maidstone that you've seen? Love it. Love it. It's a lovely field. <laughs> lovely big field, yeah. There's a lake, but you won't see that. Really nice um, field. <laughs> really nice field. Um, you did an amazing set. Thank you very much. Like, it went completely beyond what I thought. Because um, you know when you listen to someone on, on Spotify, you're like, yeah, 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 they're really good, but they got to hold it up live. Yeah. You nailed it. Oh, that you. was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. <laughs> how, how was it for you? Amazing. It's amazing. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. 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 loved it. The sound yeah. crew were amazing. You know, that all does been amazing. Yeah, and the crowd. And the, and the crowd. crowd. We actually had a decent turnout for 11.30 in the morning. Obviously, you're a bit sceptical, like, what's it going to be like? Are there going to be people in there? But, yeah, I mean, the tent was pretty busy. So, it was. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, the yeah. crowd were really interacting with you. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Got up bright and early. Absolutely. <laughs> Not as early as us. We left at, what, 6 a.m.? 6 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, yeah. But fine. you look good. You look good for a 6 a.m. start. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> I uh, heard you have a single coming out. Can you tell me a little bit about it? What yes, you're allowed to? Yes, can. So it's going to be coming out in a few weeks' time. Um, and yeah, really excited for it to come out. We're kind of taking a bit of a different turn with the sound. It's kind of, we're getting a little bit a little bit heavier um, yes. rather than the, I mean, it's still, we still like the catchy choruses and the big riffs and stuff, but it's, yeah, kind of taking a little bit of a heavier side, but. Um, Definitely a grungy vibe to it. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, a bit more grungy rather than the pop punk side of our sound. So yeah, we're excited to kind of delve into that and for, for people to hear it and hopefully dig it. Excellent. So we and played when, it today and it went down well, so. And when does that come out? Have we got a date? End of August, End of August. 25th, August. I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, 25th. That's what it is. We know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And there's an album? Yes, it is in the works at the moment. It's just being finished, um, which will be coming out later this year. Um, so the last single, Goes Around, Comes Around, and the single coming out next month are both on it um, to kind of help promote it. And then, yeah, we'll be dropping one more single, and then the album comes out later in the year. Excellent. And how's the process been with recording the album? Has it been a little bit of a long process or was it really easy for you? Or? It's um, it's taken a little while. It's taken longer than we wanted it to. Just, you know, a few hiccups here and there, but kind of as with everything. Um, I think we kind of started tracking it end of last year. So, I mean, it's still only taken kind of six, seven months. The writing's probably taken about a year or so. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's not taken too long in the grand scheme of things, but... Um, you know, we've had a couple of delays, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be out this year, which is good. So that's always good. Yeah. What's your process with writing a song? Like, do, do you all sort of like just have little ideas and then you all come together, sort of thing, and, and yeah, share I think, it? I think, I think this album would be of... a bit more collaborative. Obviously, yeah. Andy wrote a load of stuff with Matt. Yeah, so I've written a few tracks off the new album with uh, Matt Bickland from Dinosaur Pilot. Mm -hmm. um, so I've written a few tracks with him. Uh, the last single was with him. The new one was with him. Um, but yeah, I mean, the majority of stuff, I kind of like just have ideas and track them down and then like send them to the guys and you guys have had some more ideas in this album and kind of just kind of put it all together and we've like just jammed, literally just sat in my lounge. So I've got like my little home studio set up and just jam in the lounge nice. and, and come up with ideas like that. And yeah, so it's, you know, it's a fairly easy process. Well, not easy, nothing's easy, but you know, so writing music isn't easy, but it's- Andy L. Smooth process. It's, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it's good, it's, it's fun and, yeah, I'm really, yeah, we're really looking forward to bringing this album out because I say it's kind of a bit of a different sound, so it's going to be nice to, to get it out there. Okay, that's good. And you, you're you're happy going like with a different sound that you're used to because some bands end up in a bit of a rut, don't they? Trying to sound the same and they can't go off because yeah, this yeah. one's a little bit different. Are you, you more excited about that? And I think so. I think this new? album's going to sound a bit more like like a band. I think the whole album is going to sound a bit more together. I think. The first album was just, it was a lockdown project which I did on my own. Mm -hmm. And I've got all these different influences and I kind of just wrote a load of songs that kind of sounded like all these influences, but it was a, a little bit too wide. There was too much variation, I think. Whereas this one's kind of just bringing it all together and kind of getting a sound for the band, which is quite nice. And it is kind of taking that like grungier, like almost like more, a bit more of a modern sound rather than just like, 90s green day so. it's still, it's still skinny knowledge but just skinny yeah. knowledge the next level yeah skinny knowledge with more screams keep so. one sort of thing yeah. 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 excellent and you've got some gigs coming up as well where are you playing uh good question <laughs> <laughs> be oh, to be announced oh to, to be announced to be announced <laughs> lovely that is yeah, awesome yeah, that's on our socials yeah we have social media um instagrams yeah, we've got Facebooks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not TikTok though. No. We're not on TikTok because we're not cool. We're not cool enough. Yeah. Or young enough. 
<laughs> Especially Mike. I know he looks young because he hasn't got facial hair, but I'm old. he's uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that the trick? You get rid of the facial hair and it takes ages. It's not a trick. It's it's not trying right. <laughs> so also He's trying really hard. Me, I'm trying. I'm oh, trying hard. Oh, oh bless you. I'd like to introduce Mike. Oh yeah, so this yeah, is Mike. Yeah. This stuff. This is no second gig. Second gig again. Second gig with Mike. Oh, and how are you finding it? It's alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Should we do that but a bit more convincing? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's sticking around for the rest of the day to see if there's any other bands that need a drummer. <laughs> oh no. Brought a few business cards. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> no, going really well. I'm really, really enjoying it. So. Good. Just That's awesome. Fitting into the mold as we speak. So. Getting your rhythm, yeah. yeah. And then um, what's with the the, the shirts? Because anyone would kind of think that you wouldn't be playing that sort of music. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Like it's, all, it's a bit of a surprise. I just, yeah, I just started. I think like I don't know, a couple of years ago, I just started wearing loud shirts all the time, and then just started wearing them on stage, and then you guys that just kind of, kind of started, started doing it as well. I think it's like, a good image. It makes yeah. you look fun. I think, yeah, I mean, we, we definitely, we don't take ourselves seriously. I think that's the thing, like, our music videos are stupid, like, we like to be stupid, we look stupid, but when it comes to the music, like, music's obviously the most important thing, and of course, like, you know, we hope to write some kick-ass songs, and we think that we do all right at that, but when it comes to the photos and the videos, like, it's just like, it's as Dave on. Grohl said, they're candy commercials, that's what he says, right? So it's just like, exactly. well, whatever. So exactly. That is, that is the brilliant. next video is going to be amazing. We're so psyched for people to see it. It is next level ridiculous. Yeah. We always like a ridiculous yeah, yeah. video, but this is this is, <laughs> this, is this is top tier. Yeah. Excellent. I will be looking out for that then.